Hey, good afternoon everybody. It's Chris here. Today I'd like to do a review of Valeri products, the Sorel Hyperbite, chosen as the Flying Aces Club 2023 model of the year. This is my first short kit. Uh, I'm enjoying uh, this model building with wood as a master model builder and uh, wanted to do a quick review. Part one here, we'll cover the fuselage. I'm going to go over what I did and uh, what I think would be helpful tips and tricks for anybody who wants to jump and dive into a short kit. Uh, a short kit is, is it can be intimidating and, and unappealing for the lack of parts. It's very spartan, uh, minimal instructions, assuming that the builder has uh, some experience and has built these before. Uh, a few different models before. Anyways, I digress. <clears throat> well, uh, part one, I began building the sides, left and right, right on top of the build plan itself. Uh, came together seamlessly, very impressed. Laser cut is the way to go, I'll tell you what. Saves a lot of time uh, and uh, headaches. <laughs> God, it's so good. Uh, I split the uh, left and right halves in two as I built them on top of each other um, and then begin and then transfer those two halves uh, straight up uh, using uh, my squares and everything with the magnet board and went to the uh, upper part here to uh, join the two halves together um, after <coughs> the glue dried up however uh, the F5 parts, uh, because they're tongue and groove, really don't show, uh, really uh, enable shearing. It's not a good contact point. It's taking a third out of the planar face of everything. I'm a, good, I, I'm a mechanical engineering designer by trade, and uh, I digress. Uh, to uh, make up for the poor structural integrity of F5, I had to go in and add a few... Uh, web reinforcements uh, in a few select spots and and still pay attention to the weight and as you can see i uh, added some lightning holes along the uh, uh, the uh, mounting plates here for the top and bottom wing uh, the longer ons are nice i used uh, red number six to eight weight uh, a grain for the stringers and anything attached to the longer rods uh, was the uh, heavier blue 8 to 10 weight for the A grain on that. Um, the wire gear sandwiched together and epoxied in place, nothing modified, nothing special there. May have to put in another little web gusset here so I don't crush the corner of this part here. Um, Boxing the nose out with the provided laser cut parts is very effortless and it really helps self-align and center everything in. Also, to save weight, instead of sheeting as an alternative, I went back to uh, Press Bruning's idea and just put in a 1 20th strips of uh, balsa in place so I'm able to cover this with tissue instead which I, I ordered some Gampy tissue claiming to be the lightest of uh, all tissues we'll see we'll see I've got my scale Sc digital scales don't lie uh, also as a, a first timer uh, building a, a short kit I kept looking at these parts on sheet 5 for this and I thought these four Parts, I could not locate them anywhere on the two sheets of the plan. I thought it was uh, like a, a, a test print the laser does to warm up or something like that. And I kept the parts and thank God, because lo and behold, it is the, uh, it's the block. <laughs> yeah, lucky me, my left-handed luck of all things. So after I uh, assemble the nose 
to the block and everything like that. I'm going to put on an optional part provided by Valeri Products. It's the Gizmo Geezer Nose Button. I'm going to put it on a little different than the instructions call. Uh, here in figure three, they show the nose button sub-assembly. I'm going to put that in front of NB6 here. I'm going to drill a hole slightly larger to allow the nose button to be seated in place and go all the way through as deep as necessary uh, and into the uh, into the nose block which also by the way thank you Valeri products that laser cut stuff and the tolerance makes the nose block fit nice and snug into the model that is great what a godsend of not having to cut and hands do a, a, a nose block it's something else for me to do it's, it's a slow process and this is a great way to speed it up this will go inside the nose block after the nose block after I laminate all these parts together <clears throat> Valeri has provided uh, the uh, pre-cut area so after all this is aligned and glued laminated together I'll just pop off this little panel the discard it's just a temporary alignment piece then I can insert the <clears throat> the nose buttons collar inside there and screw it all together and the spinner in front will hide everything up nicely very very good the quality of the wood is very nice. Um, for first timers, getting into a short kit uh, it could be either intimidating or unappealing, but it, it kind of, I'm getting the gist of it. Uh, sh the reason why I, I think they call it a short kit is it just saves a lot of time if you have the uh, materials and supplies ready to go from previous kits, like leftover strips of balsa. What not? Okay, the quality, this balsa is good. Uh, shaping is really easy. Um, I would recommend using uh, uh, the 220 grit as a start. Use it softly, gentle pressure. Sand for a few seconds evenly on both sides. Stop and refer back to the plan. And check out your shape as you go. They provide plenty of different views, so you can get the right shape. It's pretty much a, a football shape. The wheels came out nice. They're very, very easy. Thank God. This laser cut thing with the wooden wheels is just so awesome looking. Uh, another tip and trick. Instead of using the hubcaps which I saved over here. You're supposed to sand them into a dome shape and then fit them inside here. Why don't we just save them, keep this, uh, <coughs> delete them from there, making it lighter, and just uh, laminating a pair, maybe, if you would, for the tail wheel, which I put on. Uh, just regular music wire uh, and I put a, um, a channel, a V-channel right along the edge of the uh, of this part here and then epoxy it in place. Very, very good. Uh, overall, it came out very nice. Thank you Valeri Products for providing this model out to us. Flyers and builders out there. And everybody else, thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, uh, comments, feel free to post them uh, down below in the comments section. And uh, stay tuned for more. <laughs> Bye.